Hey there. Well, you may or may not have noticed that my most recent videos have been inconsistent on the lighting. Well, I've been experimenting with lighting recently. Normally, I was using these... This looks ridiculous, but... Um, just some cheap, cheap lamps that have... Uh, I have Kleenex in the front to, to diffuse the light a little bit. And I have this newspaper on the back side of it. So when it's sitting... There, there's two of them. So when they're sitting on the table, they don't light up the background that I have. This background is just... Let's see, maybe you can see it better this way. It's just a cheap white tablecloth I got on Amazon. What was it? 12 bucks or something like that. And then I take some lamps sitting on the floor with some colored lights pointing at the tablecloth. And that's what the background is. And uh, uh, I, for a while I had a black one, but I preferred having the colors. I mean, maybe the colors are considered a little bit feminine, but... Uh, and there are some people that have pointed out that, oh, those are the uh, bisexual flag colors. I'm like, oh, is it? Oh, yeah, I guess it is, but that's all right. But it's also the back on Windows 98, and if you use the old theme on Windows XP, uh, if you used the theme called Storm, it was those same kind of colors too, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I just like the way it looks more than the black background. And I don't collect things. I don't have nice-looking bookcases. I don't have a lot of things that a lot of YouTubers will make sure are in the background of their videos. So I just like to have a plain background as much as possible. So, And uh, anyway, with the way the lighting was before, um, I, I had the f shiny face issue. So every time I'd want to make a video, right before I make the video, right before I start recording, I run into the bathroom, uh, wet my face down, and then pat it dry with a paper towel. If you don't know what that's for, if there's any excess oil that's on your face, and you do that, it removes that excess oil, and your face won't look shiny for a while, right? So, you know, I do that right before I start recording, and I notice that so many others don't have to do that. And, uh, so recently, you know, I saw, well, what, what if I start using the light that comes through the window and not have the shade closed? And I was like, wow, no more shiny face issues. Well, another thing I do too, is I put makeup on my nose because I have a bunch of spider veins on it that, uh, make my nose look really red. And so I, I put makeup on my nose to cover it up. So... But, uh, no, when I started using the lighting from outside, I was like, wow, this looks really nice. Um, I might have to do this more often. And the disadvantage is it, it makes the background lighter. And when it's really sunny out and I open up the shade all the way, it's, you don't, it, all, the only color that you can see in the background is the purple. So, but I've been liking it. And so recently I ordered a softbox light from Amazon, 30 something dollars, um, might come to about 40 with tax. And uh, I'm gonna try that out and see if I get similar results to when I have the, the light coming through the window. And if I do, then I can have a consistent experience, always keep the settings the same and, you know, that'll be a lot easier. But uh, I might eventually get a camera upgrade um, one that's capable of doing 4K. I'll still record in 1080p, but it'll be a lot crisper than, than what you've seen my videos looking like. Um, and it's not just for the, the ones where I'm sitting in front of the camera. It's so I can do night walks and have it be nice and crisp, and I can have a much higher ISO setting without getting graininess. And that would be very helpful for night walking videos. So, but it's going to be a while before I can afford that. So, you know, this, this is fine. I mean, another thing too, the, another reason why I won't record in 4k is my computer really can't handle that. <laughs> it's, uh, my computer is like, yeah, my computer is six years old now. So, 
you know, I'd have, I'd have to upgrade a whole bunch of things in order to go full 4K, and I, I just, no, that's all right. But I might just stick with this camera, for you know, because it's, it's good enough. Most people don't notice the non-crispness of the image. I'm sure there are some, especially the people who are hardcore gamers who have their 4K monitor, and they're like, oh, why, why can't he record in a better resolution or whatever? But I'm, I'm mostly satisfied. The main thing I'm not satisfied with is the lighting after I realized, oh, I don't have to have the shiny face problem anymore. So, um, Also, thinking about 4K, you know, there aren't any television stations that broadcast in 4K. Uh, 1080p is the highest. In, fa in fact, it's not even 1080p. The channels are 1080i. 1080 interlaced, you know, um, they're not a true 1080p, so that's, that's another reason why I wouldn't want to go 4K. I mean, why should I go above the standard that's on television, you know? Um, guess I don't know what more to say, but, uh, so, uh, banana fungus. <laughs> <laughs> 